Hey, good morning. It's Uncle Lou here. Uh, yep, that's right. It's me, Uncle Lou. Live for you on YouTube today. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Fiesta Bowl today! Fiesta! Wee! Yeah, uh, one of the big bowl games every year, Fiesta Bowl. This year we get uh, Washington Huskies from the Pac-12 taking on the Nittany Lions of Penn State out of the Big Ten. Or Little Ten. Uh, ever what you want to call it. Uh, I talked yesterday about how a lot of these bowl games have been mismatches and blowouts and things like that, but as we get later into the bowl season and some of these better teams start to face off, I expect that to change uh, and, and have some better games. That doesn't apply here. <laughs> Washington is outmatched in this game, ain't it? Washington is a terrible team. I have been saying this all season. Hell, I've been saying this since the off season. You look at Washington's schedule, they opened up with three high school teams, right? Uh, Fresno State, Montana State, uh, and Rutgers. Woo! Of course, they started 3-0. and The Pac-12, not a good league this year. Uh, so Washington starts off hot in the Pac-12. They get up into the top 10. They go down on a, on a, on a, play Arizona State at night on the road. Total loss. Would you like 13 to 7 or something? I mean, you guys just never even got off the bus in that game. Then you lose late in the year to Stanford, blow your chance at the Pac 12 title game. No surprise to Uncle Lou. Um, even last year when Washington made the playoffs, they were probably the worst team to ever make the playoffs. And that includes some terrible Big Ten teams that couldn't even score a single point in the playoff. Ohio State, Michigan State, Uncle Lou's talking to you. Uh, yeah. Washington didn't deserve to be there, and it showed. Definitely didn't deserve it this year, and they're not there. So, I mean, as far as Uncle Lou is concerned, that's good news. They they didn't they didn't need to be anywhere near the playoff. Penn State is going to roll them in this game. It's just that simple. No way Washington is stopping uh, Penn State's offense and Saquon Barkley. I do think that Penn State has a good enough defense to slow down Washington and Jake Browning. And I forget their running back's name. Although he is pretty good, I'll give credit where credit is due. A little on the small side. But he's pretty good. They're running back. But they have no business being in this game. They're outmatched. They're not winning this game. Penn State's winning. Yeah, Penn State took a couple of losses too. What was it a one-point loss to Ohio State? Miracle comeback win for Ohio State there uh, to win that game. And then uh, 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 demoralized Penn State turns around the, the following week and loses to Michigan State, a game they shouldn't have lost. Uh, Penn State really should have been at the worst 11-1 this year. But point is they're 10-2, Washington 10-2. Fiesta Bowl. It is a big bowl game, so congrats to both these teams on their seasons. 10-2, and two, nothing to laugh at. Pretty good seasons, no matter who you play or what conference you're in. If you go 10-2, and two, uh, you had a pretty good year. With that being said, it's ending on a sour note for Washington. They're just not any good. Pac-12 in general, not any good. Uh, bordering on terror. Calling the Pac-12 not very good is, is really, uh, honestly, it's about the kindest thing you could say. Um, about, the, about the Pac-12 this year. They're just terrible. Zero elite teams, including Stanford, Southern Cal. A couple of good teams, yeah, and then a whole lot of terrible uh, teams. Just the reality of the situation. They're outmatched in this game. Penn State wins. James Franklin uh, will get the win here for Penn State over uh, what's-his-name at Washington. What is that guy's name from Boise State? Peterson. Uh, yeah, uh, Peterson. So, anyway, that's the Fiesta Bowl preview. I, I, I'll probably watch some of this game, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe I'll record it and watch it in the offseason when I'm bored. But I don't know. Anyway, um, congrats to both these teams. But this is a, mis a mismatch. Uh, Saquon Barkley runs wild in this game. There's nothing Washington can do about it. They're not talented enough to keep up. They're just not a very good team, uh, to be honest. Take Washington uh, out of the Pac-12. Give Washington... Any any team schedule out of the SEC, ACC, or Big Ten, they're a seven and five team. That's just the reality of the situation. They're just not very good, um, and that's the bottom line. Because Uncle Lou said so. Uh, you know, Stone Cold reference there. Uh, some of you wrestling uh, fans. Yep. Anyway, Christmas Eve. Uh, so I'm sure all you guys have great plans today, family. Whatever it is you do on Christmas Eve. Hope you have a great day, um, a good morning, all that type of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's very important that you go ahead and do that. Uh, and uh, enjoy this holiday season. Uh, I'll have a Christmas video or something for you. I'll, I'll probably record it today when I have more time and upload it uh, tomorrow uh, for you, a Christmas video. But anyway, had to get uh, one more uh, bowl preview out of the way. Had a few minutes to kill here before we get ready to head to the magic show. Uh, yeah, Uncle Lou called it magic show. Uh, most of you probably call it 
church. Uh, yeah, but getting ready to head out there. And then we got a busy afternoon with the in-laws uh, and uh, whatnot. My in-laws, Mrs. Lou's parents. Uh, yeah, we do Christmas Eve or Christmas with them on Christmas Eve. So that's what we'll be doing this afternoon and this evening. Tomorrow morning, Santa's coming. Uh, you got to see Lou Jr. and Lou Ann. Talk more about that later, I, 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 I guess, in the Christmas video or whatever. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then go to Uncle Lou's uh, parents' house tomorrow also, too, and as well. Oh, almost ended the video. Have a great morning.